Hey everyone, I am Henry and Mori and Max are on the screen. Today we are talking about getting a mothership when your game isn't doing that well. And also we're talking about Titanfall 2 some, so let's get into it. Now this is the same route I take every time I'm at sea on this map. I put a couple things there to catch anybody that tries to get me. Then I look for a guy that head glitches and here I get someone. There's not always someone there, but there often is. And you'll see in this game that things do not go that well for me, for my team. And, well, I get a mothership anyway. You'll see it later on in the game. It takes a while to come. And see, there I get taken out because I was looking the wrong way. But off the spawn, <laughs> this is what I do. I get that guy. Okay, now, yeah, this game does not go well for me. I'm a camper, and I admit it and i do not go out and capture flags as much and i'd like to support the teammates that do um sacred phoenix in one of his recent videos said as much he didn't like that about campers that campers just don't hop on the flags and well yeah guilty as charged and let's take a look at this guy he's not me he's a guy on the other team and he's about to come in and get <laughs> slaughtered <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought I'd show it to you. Yeah, there you go. And I capture that guy off sea. And yes, capture, not kill. Kill that guy off sea. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this game does not go that well. I am trying to support my teammates as we uh, capture B there, but uh, it's not happening. There's too many red dots over there. I know if I go over there, I'm just going to die, so I can't help with it saving B. So I know this game isn't going that well, so I'm fending for myself a little bit. But in the process, I just play extra conservatively and eventually get a mothership. And that's what I do sometimes. I just say, you know what, this isn't working out, but I'll still try to get a mothership or try to get my wraps or go for some goal. Anyway, and oh, that was nasty. Let's take a look at that again. Okay, here, back it up a bit. Here I am sitting here. Do, 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 do. And here comes the guy that's going to get me, and he kills that guy, and that guy was on my mini-map, and he disappeared, and I should have noticed, and I didn't, and that's why I got taken out. So, gotta watch that mini-map, gotta watch that mini-map. I'm not going to say anything else about getting the mothership in this game, because, well, I basically covered everything, so I'm going to talk about Titanfall 2 now. In particular, I'm going to talk about one certain aspect of Titanfall 2, and if I have time at the end, maybe I'll talk a little bit more about some of the other things that were revealed this week, because with GamesCon, EA had released lots of information about Titanfall 2, and let YouTubers release their videos about Titanfall 2, which they had captured at a previous event. So... Yeah, first of all, I want to talk about one thing, and that is skill-based matchmaking. Oh, did I just hear a bunch of you cringe? Yeah, skill-based matchmaking, nasty, Oh, But, uh, yeah, it's coming to Titanfall 2. Recently, Respawn did a thing on Twitter where you could ask them a bunch of matchmaking questions, and they replied with answers, and, well, we found out that skill-based matchmaking is a thing. They didn't call it that, they just talked about... Well, we like to figure out what a person's skill is and match them up with other people of similar skill. Well, that's skill-based matchmaking, and it's in Titanfall 2. And the guy talked a lot about how they're going to evaluate a person's skill and make sure that it's accurate and that it's going to work better than in Titanfall 1 and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it means that you're going to get put up, put in to matches of people with similar skill. And that means all your matches are gonna be tready, I mean, tready, sweaty and try hard. I tried to put sweaty and try hard into one word, it didn't work there. So sweaty and try hard. Yeah, so this is not a thing that we like. All the us Call of Duty players are saying, hey, we don't want this. We make a big ruckus every time it happens and they back off a little. I still think it's in Black Ops 3 a little bit, by the way. I know that's not a popular opinion, but I think it's there. But it's very tuned down. And so we get what we have today. Um, I know that the guy on Respawn Entertainment Twitter thing, he said, hey, oh, watch this slow-mo guy in the distance. Got him. Okay. And let me, oh, yeah, another one. Let's see if I can get him. Yes, here I am playing ultra-conservatively, trying to get my streaks. So I'm hiding out in the back. 
We're getting triple capped. Yeah. Okay, where was I? Oh, round loss. Yeah. See, look at that. Nine and four. Terrible. Our teammates are terrible. So where was I? Yes, yeah, skill-based matchmaking. And so Respawn has said that it's going to be in the game. And they also acknowledged that some people don't like skill-based matchmaking. So they're going to provide a playlist for those who don't want to play in matches with skill-based matchmaking. Now, it sounded like maybe they weren't going to do this. Maybe they were. They're thinking about it. But if they do, you know what's going to happen. All the people that like to stomp on scrubs, they're going to go in this playlist and not find any scrubs to play against. And <laughs> everybody's going to be in the main playlist and only a few people are going to try this other playlist and then it's going to be deemed a failure because there's nobody there and then they're going to have to get rid of it. And I'm calling it right here and right now. Nobody's going to be using this except for a few people at the start looking for scrubs to play against and they're not going to find anybody. So it'll end up being just a regular playlist again. And you know what's going to happen? Reverse boosting. Yes, reverse boosting. It's coming back in Titanfall 2. I'm calling it now. And that's not going to be a good thing. And everybody's going to get ticked off. And Respawn's going to have to do something about it. So Respawn, are you listening? This skill-based matchmaking stuff is not going to turn out. <laughs> as I go for a little tear in my Cerberus. Now, is this Cerberus equivalent to a Titan in Titanfall 2? You know, it's a machine that I can hop into, not physically, but virtually, wander around the map with super powerful weapons, kill everybody I see. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a Titan in Titanfall. Well, but it's gone now. Yeah, Titanfall Titans do not go down as easy as that. I noticed in Titanfall 2, it's really, really hard to take down a Titan. I've watched some gameplay, and people are taking shots and shots and shots and shots at Titans, and they're just not going down. They're often missing, because the because two of the Titan anti-Titan weapons I've seen are really difficult to use. One is a laser that needs to charge up, and then often they just plain old miss, and they have to charge it up and then fire again and miss again. And the other weapon was... a plasma ball thing that travels at the speed of turtles until it finally gets where the titan was five minutes ago and like who's gonna use that that's just oh who's gonna use that? they better improve those anti-titan weapons because from what i've seen of the footage that i've seen they don't do squat now i've been complaining a lot about titanfall 2 but in reality, I am really, really looking forward to this game. I think they're going to fix lots of the issues that I've mentioned, and I'm really going to give it a try. I'm definitely going to buy it when it comes out, and I'm going to play it. Because I like Titanfall 1. Oh, ho, ho, look, here I finally get my mothership. Yes, da dum da dum 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 Here it is. I do not get that many motherships, so when I do, it's a big deal for me. So here it is. So what was I saying? I liked Titanfall 1. Yes, I did. I liked it a lot. I didn't care about the lack of content that everybody was complaining about. They were saying, oh, there's not enough this, there's not enough that. I don't, I can't grind for camos. I can't grind for challenges, blah, 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 blah. Well, you'll notice from my videos, I don't care about challenges and camos that much. Every once in a while, I'll do a little bit of that work, but mostly I ignore those kind of things. So the fact that these things weren't in Titanfall 1, well, they didn't bother me. And I liked the game, and I think I played it a lot longer than than most people. And so, yeah, I like Titanfall 1, and I think I'm going to like Titanfall 2. Everything I've seen so far looks really cool. Um, the maps, they could be a little diff more differentiated. I know that, I think it was Exclusive Ace, he was talking about the maps, and he said they all feel different. But uh, that's a good thing, of course. Um, but they didn't look different to me at least maybe because i wasn't actually in the maps but anyway looks like a great game we lost this game but that's life i got a mothership still had fun so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to bring some titanfall 2 gameplay to you from the beta test this weekend hopefully i can so look forward to that and i'll be seeing you around i am henry over and out